All right, hello there. I am Pupo One, and this is King of the Coliseum Two, and we're getting ready to do the 32 man freestyle MMA tournament. These are the results from the freestyle MMA tournament, as you can see right here. We have 18 coming in first place. We have 92 coming in second place, and we have 46 coming in third place. Now. We already know right here, we already know we're using slot number eight to do the matches until we get to the finals. Because when we get to the finals, we're going to do the use of title match rules or whatever like that for freestyle. Oh, wait, we're using slot nine. My bad. Slot eight is for freestyle MMA tournament. Slot nine is for freestyle pro wrestling. Okay. Right here, you can see this is going to be a bracket, and we can go back on here, go here, and right here, just to show you what the rules is going to be like. So we're going to do the first eight matches to figure out the first eight people for the round of 16. So that's what we're getting ready to do. This is just to show you what the rules are and whatnot, and we can go on to the game from here. Yeah, I just got the gonna be randomly picking the people and stuff like that. It don't matter if the same people are picked from the previous tournament. So what what was it supposed to be? Oh, slot number nine. Okay. Slot nine. Okay. <laughs> Those two will be the first to follow it. I'm only going to do this one because so I'm just going to go through it. Basically, like we got two 15 minute rounds or whatever like that. And then, um, count out and stuff like that is the um, 20 second count out and whatever. Because it's pro wrestler rules or whatnot. So they can get out the ring, they can fight on the outside of the ring. As well, get back in the ring. There's a time decision and everything like that. Waiting on it to start. All right. Down one, two, three. Not to that with a drop kick. I can turn up the sound a little bit because it's not even that loud. Alright. Nice armor right there. Snap mirror for a top kick to the back of the head. Snap mirror. He just sort of strangling him on the ground. Tie up, snap mail, into a more jack hook to the back of the head. Okay, I'll flip. Find both steps. Only gets a one count. Four and start to the face. Scoop slam. Stunts to the head. Pulls to the center of the ring. I think that was an eye rake. What he just did right there. Oh, nice neck character. Right Picks him up. Headbutt. Arm wrench. Kitchen sink. Kick to the either the groin or the miss section. Another kitchen sink. Picks him up. Shin breaker. Okay, boss is kind of rope break. He's too close to the rope. Is this 
a little bit lighter than him. Versus two points. One, two, versus two points. Nice chop to the chest. Nice upper hand chop to the chest. Another kick to the That's about the fourth point he hit. Reverses. I think that's a. Uh, um, I don't even know what the heck that was. It looked like some type of variation of the, um, what's that opposite step? Oh, it's different. Another different step. So I'm going to give him two times after the two took the six in a row. Reverses. Drop to the head. Single low crowd. Let's just take that. Oh, that jump is too far. That's kind of insecurity right there. Let's get him back on the first of six steps reverse. Now he's dazed. Here's the German Super Bowl get 2.9. I don't know if you're going to go to the bottom. Yeah, he still can't get him up to the third or fifth row. I don't know what he's going for exactly, but. Uh oh, it's going to be a foul zone. Nice reversal. Nice jump to the head. Second big agenda also gets two point nine. Gonna drop kick in the fourth, followed by an elbow drop. Scoop some on. Oh. Scoop a hole. Gets to the rope. Snap man. Irish whip. This is a quick down stop. Quick to hold, but he's already in the rope. That pull to the center ring would be down. He's out there. He's in the chest. Nice chop to his chest, but stepping back, switch to a flop. Three times. Number 27 down. The heck? That was kind of weird to me. I was like, he didn't really do nothing. I think he. Did he just block his move to the corner? Which is the first outfit because that's the only ones on here that I got for the um I got it set up for the um you know for the um for the number to be up on the screen and stuff like that. So that's why you keep on seeing me set it up like that with um type one and stuff. That's because I I know how to you know how on other on most games where you're setting up the name and stuff like that for a character you could do it for if they have more than one like type of outfit you can do it for all the outfits and stuff like that i know like probably um here comes the pain and stuff like that and shut your mouth you you could you automatically do it for it because if you're creating a character they all gonna have one name anyway and you can't really change the name on characters that's already on the roster you're going to, like, change, like, their movesets and that type of stuff. I don't think you can change their attire, really. All right. We can get started. Take a few seconds for the match to start. 
Now, I ain't know if it was still recording. I was gonna be, I get mad when it's not recording because that's how I lost a few videos before. It's like I just didn't realize the game was co recording or not, and so didn't have them. Is it gonna start soon? All right. <laughs> Open hand drop. Irish whip through first. Irish whip by a drop kick. to the back, my boy. Sorry, boy. Back elbow. Counter. Oh, 
Go to the ropes and keep nice counter snap suplex. Goes to the top. Moonstock press. That's crazy. That how is that not a rope break? You can clearly see his legs under the ropes. That's crazy. All right, number sixty-nine. One. save it because I don't want to accidentally do nothing wrong with it. So it's supposed to be slack. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be slack. Let me make sure I make a mistake. Did I make a mistake? No. Oh. oh. Yep, I did make a mistake. Was it 69 that one? Yeah, it was 69. Because you don't know if it's going to mess up when I go out of it. That's why I try not to go out of it until the match is over with. That could have been a work for a randomization of who is picking who's being picked and stuff like that it's like even if you lose you could get randomly selected again for the match but if you already qualify you can't qualify twice that's all all right number 35 then number 24 all right those are the two we can get started with the third match up the round of 32. If only that was faster. I think there's a way to speed up the gameplay, right? No, we already got it sped up. Because we got it set to, um, I think it's set to 200, right? The speed is supposed to be 200. Yeah, speed is 200. It says it right there. Uh, what was I gonna say? My world is gonna be. I thought that was gonna speed it up. Or is it one of these that will speed it up? Let me see. No, nope, that definitely slowed it the fuck down. So, all right, this definitely needs the multi-threaded VU1. Okay. Okay, so shit. It, that's that's as good as it's supposed to be, huh? Okay. Let me freaking leave it alone then. Oh, crap. What did I do wrong? I did nothing wrong. Why is it fucking up on me? Gonna pretend that I approved the game, you know. That's, that's, that's what I call a real piece of shit, you know. I should have never did nothing to it. That's on me. Oh, 
वन टू थ्री I should say dive and drop kick to the back of the head because I think the um I think that's just the dive the flying drop kick to the back of the head versus um the missile drop kick is the front drop kick coming off the top rope. I don't know why that's called the missile drop kick, but it is what it is. Why that? We're just call both of me a missile drop kick. Oh, that was a body kick that got him down for two for the two count. Snap suplex. Drop toe hold. Running shoulder block. Just some type of inverted figure four. Spinning back kick. Drop kick. Fall by running clothesline. Picks him up. Reversal vertical suplex. I'm gonna say counter. That was the STO until arm bar. Okay. Full mount. Attempted triangle. Arm bar. Body kick into a great fine ankle lock. I think it was a punch that dropped him for two count. This round is almost over. Multiple forearms to the face. We're going to choke. I don't know what he was going to do, but he was trying to pick him up for a torture rack position for something. Running attack gets a uh, knockdown. Snap mare. Counter kick to the face. Another running attack. Oh, that was a critical. What? Oh, it was a critical at the damn bell. That's some messed up shit. Man. No oh, man, he got saved by the bell. Oh my goodness, that spinning elbow. Still only a two count though. That was a That was a choke right there. Two, three, four, five, 
five count from this time with the spinning elbow. Shoot kicks to the chest. Stump. Another stump. Full mount. Some gravel town. Some more gravel town. He's able to get him off of him from full bounce back into full guard, and then he stood back up. He keep on trying to pick him up for that torture rack position. I don't know what the heck he's playing on going on. Going for another spinning elbow. Still a five count every time he gets dropped by the spinning elbow. That was an ST. That was an STO. That's a two count right there. Another SCO. Yeah. Those SCOs are just taking them out, man. Number, oh, wait, wait. Number 35 is the winner. Gotta make sure it doesn't mess up on me, that's all. Alright, now we can see. to turn on the music that plays in the background during the matches and stuff like that. Or even if he doesn't even have that. I think we sped up the, the gameplay or made it look a little bit better, you know. I wish it was like, um, what is it, the 64 emulator where it just says F FPS and stuff instead of all the, this G and P and W and stuff. Looks like to be a you know T bone suplex or an exploder. Snap vertical suplex. Bear hug. Hard scoops on it, followed by an elbow drop. Can't get the vertical, so you just say, forget it. Reverse it. Reverse it on the Irish whip, which is a forearm shot to the face, followed by a scoop slam and stump to the face. Dragon screw. Hey, that big ass nigga do a drop kick, man. He got up there. Elbow to the back of the head, followed by. The camel clutch. Another reversal, or I should say counter um, dragon screw. This for they go for the um, double knees to the leg where he, he stood up and he still went for it. <laughs> Side leg lock, rope break. Back body drop, counter, counter vertical suplex, oh, he almost got him up, but counter back body drop, into an STF.
wearing a forearm shot into another STF. Hip toss. Trying to catch his breath. Sidewalk slam into an elbow drop. Yeah, the bigger dude has the, um, takes him a while the, oh. Suicide dive through the ropes to the outside. I mean, it, it may take a lot more energy for a bigger dude to attack a smaller dude and stuff like that. You know, they use a lot of energy when they're moving around and stuff, but like, it, you can zap somebody's energy if you're bigger than them because, you know, you're doing probably twice the amount of damage just because you're twice their size. He has to outweigh him by at least 50 pounds or 100, if not. Maybe more than that. It's maybe like a guy who's like 240 or 250 go to somebody who's probably like 350 plus. I just ripped it to the corner. Uh-oh. He's going for here. Oh, he gets counter. He gets to the top rope. <laughs> the missile drop kick misses. And he goes for a schoolboy roll-up. Yeah, he keep on and and the thing is, the big dude's gonna tire from just moving around, but the but the smaller wrestler, he's gonna get tired too from trying to get him off the grip. Get him up off the ground and stuff like that. Nice um, super cuts from the second rope. Power bomb with the bridge for a two count. That was a nice quick belly to belly super right there. Look like a snap belly to belly super right. And it was quick. Dang. Just dropped him. I think that was probably a body attack. Two point nine on the on that um bridge in um what's the name? Power bomb. Two point nine on the freaking counter what's what's it called? Um small package. That DDT dropped them. Only a two count. That was hilarious. And he just got up, drowsy as hell. Another belly to belly. Another snap belly to belly throw. Belly to belly support. That was a stunner. That was just a straight up stutter. That gets a two count. It looked it look like nobody's going to win this round. Going to have to wait into the second round. Running single leg drop kick to the ground at opponent. Scoop slam. Okay. He's trying to go for that T-bone, but it's not working. I think a sploder is when you toss them over the shoulder to the side, as well as a Tebow suplex is when you toss them straight overhead like a belly to belly throw. At least that's just how I think about the two. Because, um, what's his name? Um, Joe Akiyama. His is a straight over the head. His, um, T-bone suplex that he does as a finisher. And then Tass's T-bone suplex where he captures the leg and stuff. That is a straight over the head as well. And stuff like that. And then, like, when people start calling them exploders, I mostly see, like, Female wrestlers and and a couple of the dudes when they do a exploder suplex, it's more so just toss them to the side over the shoulder versus straight overhead and stuff like that. The math is um shoot. Mostly watch WWE and, and, and um the 
WWE or AEW nowadays. There you go. The team home got the win. That was number 48. I mean, 78. How bad. All right. Four down, four to go. That was a good match. They both did pretty well. What's the time? 35 minutes. Yeah. Right. We can do that as well. You know, we can do. Yeah, we can do four matches instead of the. Should we save it right here? Wait, it was already saved, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, we'll save it right here. And then we'll come back into the video. Yeah, because we could... Because that way the videos don't have to be so super long and stuff like that. I don't mind having four matches per video. And stuff like that. Because then the round of 16 could be two videos or whatever like that. Then the round of eight could probably be just one video. Yeah, the round of eight would be one video. Then the semifinals and finals will be one video. Well, the semifinals and then we'll actually have the Battle for third place, then we'll have the finals. The battle for third place and the finals will both be tested under the title match rules, which is these rules right here. These rules right here with infinite rounds. Like, so yeah, that's the difference. It's only 30 minutes when you do what I'm doing the tournaments, but with the time decision, but with the um but with the infinite rounds, that's for the title match. So, you know, it's just a new round every 10 minutes for the the freestyle MMA. And then every 15 minutes for the PW. So if it goes four, five, six rounds or however long it has to take, it just takes that long. Yeah. So that's why you see infinite rounds right there. Because you, you can do that on this game, which is, I, I enjoy that a lot. I was going to do, like, something with, like, five-minute infinite rounds, but I tried that when I first started, like, just trying to just let the game play, just to let the game play and stuff like that, and that shit was like, yo, that was grueling. I think one match went, what, eight or nine rounds? <laughs> I was like, because it's only five minutes, and you see how quickly five minutes go with the time speed up and stuff like that, so... It, it it just kept on going. Nobody could get the finish. Yeah. That was only one match, though. The rest of them, I think, stopped at the, like, the fifth or fourth round or something. And, yeah, that's the plan and stuff like that. So, congrats to the first four winners of the round of 32. Next up will be the next four matches, which I could I guess we could call that part two of the round of 32. To the next one later, hope you enjoy.